Hey there LT Gamers, welcome back to another exciting preview here on the channel, continuing our week of war games. Today we're checking out a game that's got everyone buzzing this year and that is Broken Arrow. Developed by Steel Balaka and published by Slytherin, Broken Arrow is going to be a large scale, real time, modern warfare tactics game. It's going to have unique army building system and deep unit customization tools that promise endless replayability. And with over 200 realistic military units and technology, it should make battles feel more immersive than ever. The game is sitting very high on the Steam wishlists and has the potential to be one of the best releases of this year. But how will it stack up compared to Warno, Regiments, other games on the scene? Let's dive into the hype and see what Broken Arrow is all about. Alright, let's dive into what Broken Arrow is all about. This game is a large scale real time modern warfare tactics game and you get to play with both the American and Russian factions. Each of these subdivides into factions like Marines, Armoured Units, Airborne and more. And what's interesting and intriguing about Broken Arrow is how it combines the complexity of a joint forces war game with the fast paced action of real time tactics. If you love games like War Games, Steel Division or maybe even the recent Warno, you're going to probably have something to vibe with on this one. But unlike those games that focus on historical or theoretical conflicts, Broken Arrow is all about modern day US and Russian forces. Each nation has over 100 units including land, air and sea forces giving you a ton of strategic options. You build your army by creating a customizable deck of units. You've got categories like recon, infantry, fighting vehicles, support, logistics, helicopters and airstrikes. And you can tweak your armor and infantry units to fit your playstyle. This level of customization and variety means that no two battles are going to be alike, making every fight in Broken Arrow a unique challenge. So it's all going to be about crafting your perfect strategy and outsmarting your opponent. And let's talk about the crux of any war game and that is going to be the gameplay mechanics. Broken Arrow is bringing some seriously action packed combat. You can deploy your forces by land, sea and air. So imagine using paratroopers and helicopters to grab key spots quickly, then rolling in with heavy tanks to hold them, and eventually smashing the enemy counter attack with artillery and tactical missile strikes. If you've got a knack for stealth, you can infiltrate your special forces behind the enemy lines, mess up their logistics and laser designate targets for your planes. You can utilize and leverage the ter terrain to ambush, outflank and outsmart your enemies. The large urban battlefields are super realistic and they're modeled after actual places. So you'll be fighting in industrial harbors, airports, refineries and more. And Broken Arrow, one of the big things about it is going to be customization and it boasts over 300 units, each customizable in tons of ways, leading to more than 1500 combinations. You can tweak modern vehicles and aircraft with different weapons, armor packages. You can customize your helicopters and aircraft with rockets, bombs, missiles, fuel tanks and more. Upgrading your tanks with additional armor and active protection systems and choosing specific ammo types for your artillery like high explosive, smoke or laser guided shells. And the, one of the main things here is that planning is going to be key. Building your army to fit your playstyle and surprise your enemy this is going to basically be one of the major aspects of the game and there's going to be a huge range of units that will split into different categories. We'll have recon units which will include vehicles, drones and sniper teams for spotting and marking enemy positions. Infantry is armed to the teeth with rifles, machine guns and anti-tank weapons and can garrison in buildings, a very cool feature, for stealth and protection. Fighting vehicles cover tanks. ATGM carriers and fire support. And then support includes artillery, anti-aircraft vehicles and trucks for ammo, repairs and medical supplies. We're going to have helicopters which are your perfect for hit and run tactics, transporting troops and lifting vehicles and supplies. And then finally, last but not least, airplanes can intercept enemy aircraft, support ground troops and airdrop infantry and other vehicles. So hopefully this has got your kind of mind going with the possibilities with this game and while those creative juices are flowing there is going to also be a powerful scenario editor that will let, let you create your own missions and share them on the Steam Workshop. This is a massive aspect for me as the community often deliver and then some so it will allow you to whip up complete scenarios with cutscenes, dialogue 
and you won't need to know how to write a single line of script because it will have a visual scripting tool. Very cool indeed. Alright LT gamers, let's break down the pros and cons from the Broken Arrow gameplay we've experienced so far, and there's a lot to talk about. First up are the pros. I found that the unit models first and foremost in Broken Arrow were fantastic. I really enjoyed the sound and music and they added to the immersion for me as well. As well, you throw on the customization options, these were a great addition. The map looked really good and the combat was really satisfying. From a gameplay perspective, it was very enjoyable. And I know I ran this by Luke and he agreed with my sentiments as well. I had to take some time however to get familiar with the controls in my first playthrough. Once I got a hang of it, it was smooth enough. However, I did have a bit of trouble knowing which units were shooting or being shot at until it was too late. But overall, I got used to it. The gameplay felt solid overall. On to the cons. It was a little bit arcadey for my taste. It did have the vibes of something like World in Conflict with a mix of logistics, deck building and those customizations we've spoken about. But I think it's something I could definitely get used to. The bigger issue for me was optimization. The game ran pretty poorly at times and I don't have a terrible rig. And I wasn't a massive fan of the UI. It was functional and I got used to it, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. Orders sometimes also felt a little bit too simple and if I had to be really nitpicky, some of the animations were a little bit basic and took away from the overall experience. Despite these drawbacks, however, I think there's a lot of potential here, and I'm really excited to touch base with this game again and see how it's improved and if it can be a standout RTS in this genre. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the multiplayer aspects of this game. For those who love competing against real players, Broken Arrow will offer several robust multiplayer modes. You'll be able to engage in intense online battles, team up with friends, or challenge players from around the world. So I see this as only enhancing the replayability of the game, particularly when we combine this with the scenario editor, so dynamic combat scenarios, and we'll see ever-evolving strategies in the online domain. So there you have it, LT Gamers. Broken Arrow is shaping up to potentially be a standout title in the RTS genre. Deep strategic gameplay, diverse units and customization, and not too bad on the eye either. It's definitely going to be one to watch out for. However, it does face stiff competition in this space. Games like we recently featured on the channel, Warno, or in the past, Regiments, could definitely give it a run for its money. So I hope they work out some of the kinks that I've seen in the demo version. If you've enjoyed this preview, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more gaming content, and let us know in the comments what you're excited about with this game or maybe others in this space. Until next time, LT Gamers, I'll catch you then. Bye-bye.